Nutrition is a major factor affect all farmers across the island, especially ruminant farmers, as we suffer what we call climate change. We have fluctuation in fodder quality and fodder availability. And a way to improve our system is to ensure that we practice what you call fodder conservation. Fodder conservation can come in many forms. We have drying of grass, which is like hay, or drying of leaves, like leaf meal, or we can use an anaerobic process called silage to conserve our grasses. Well, today's topic will focus on developing a leaf meal dryer. It's a very critical feature that we should add to every farm because we want farmers to conserve the high quality protein forages that they have out there in the field. The leaf meal dryers are very easy and simple apparatus to be made and all the materials and tools can be found at the Hyper Ace Supercenter store. Hyper is dedicated to the agricultural sector for decades. It's also important for us to pass this knowledge on to students who will carry this to our farmers. So we're here at the College of Agricultural Science and Education where we reached out to Ms. Lisa Paul who's interested in conducting a nutritional based research. As a nutritionist, I gave her guidance on how is it that we can actually improve diets for our small ruminant animals using high quality protein forages that can be found locally here in Portland. Good day, my name is Lisa Paul, a third year student here at the College of Agriculture, Science and Education. Today we are here dealing with a leaf meal dryer. We are building this to help in the maximizing of weight gain in weaned animals here at the small stock unit. Reducing the water content of plants will reduce the toxicity of the plants, increasing the amount of protein that the animal would get from the feed. So when you improve the ration, then you know that the feed content that these animals are getting, they'll have more nutrients in the feed because it doesn't make any sense that the animals are being fed the right amount of feed but not with the adequate amount of nutrients needed. The materials are readily available at your nearest hardware stores. You can also source them on your farm because you basically use PVC pipes, plastic, mesh and board. Some of the plants that I'll recommend would be the Lucenia or the mulberry plant because these plants are high in protein. After my research, this has shown that the leaf meal is a highly recommended source of high protein that improves the weight gain of weaned animals and other young animals as well. The mechanism for this leaf meal dryer uses what we call conventional currents. As we know, hot air rises. So at the bottom of this dryer, it is open for hot air to rise through the leaves and allow it to dry quickly. Using the greenhouse plastic that allows intense UV light to pass through could allow us to dry leaf meals in around two to three days. After this, this can easily be fed to the animals. One of the benefits of drying is actually concentrating the nutrients. Concentrated nutrients include an increase in dry matter intake. Increasing dry matter intake allows for more meat or milk production. There's a big misconception that protein is the most essential ingredient needed for animals. This is very important, but also energy is what is required. The high pro general maintenance ration and premium goat ration provides you with the adequate amount of energy needed for your animals. What you need now is to add the required protein content to this feed to boost your feeding program. And that's where the leaf dryer comes in. It allows you to dry high quality protein forages and can conserve it for a longer period and can feed out when you need it. 